Oh snap, it's on like Donkey Kong. Oh, we have most helpful Reggie Fisa, man! <laughs> OB1 plays? Yes, right, what's up? Oh, All right. OB1 plays? going on everybody how are y'all doing before we get started with this video give it a thumbs up like 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 let's get it over 300 likes let's do it right now we have some big potentially potentially huge zelda breath of the wild 2 news there are two games I want the most on my Switch. There's a lot of games I want on my Switch, but Metroid Prime 4, Breath of the Wild 2. I still think to this day, the original Breath of the Wild is the defining game of this generation. It was one of those Mario 64 Ocarina of Time moments we were able to be privileged with in 2017. Really changed how open world games are being played, but that's beside the point. Let's get to the news item. According to an Austrian retailer, Gameware, they have listed The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 coming out during quarter 2 of 2021, which is sooner than we thought this means quarter two of 2021 is sometime between april and june late spring mid to early summer for a breath of the wild 2 release date now this could go either way this could be very possible and nintendo does a surprise nintendo direct still holding out for nintendo direct coming at the beginning of february a Nintendo Direct talking about the game, then it releases, or this could be just a um, placeholder by the retailer. This could really be 50-50 either way, but I have to let you guys know so you can keep your eyes open for a Breath of the Wild 2 announcement. Just think of what, because some could say, well, no, Breath of the Wild 2, that has to be a holiday title. Bro, Nintendo still got Pokemon in their back pocket. They still have a whole bunch of other games they could come out for a holiday. The original Breath of the Wild was a launch title for the Switch when? In the spring. And so, to follow when the original Breath of the Wild, Breath of the Wild 2 could also possibly launch in the spring, I would be here for it. And so, this retailer has listed Breath of the Wild 2 coming quarter two of 2021. I cannot wait to get my hands on this game. Now, Zelda is my favorite video game franchise of all time. I love the Zelda games. I really didn't get into the, I did beat the one on the NES, but I really, really fell in love with the series on the Super Nintendo, Link to the Past, and then from there just kept going. Ocarina of Time, Epic, um, the GameCube, Wind Wake, I'm missing some, but I'm just talking about Zelda. Uh, Skyward Sword, I love Skyward Sword. Skyward Sword has some of the best dungeons in all of the Zelda franchises. It had some flaws. All right, and so, quarter two, Zelda, Breath of the Wild, bro. This is some interesting information. Next news item. Mario 3D World. The technical specs have come out. Reports from Eurogamer are saying they're indicating that Bowser's Fury, check this out, runs at 30 frames per second portable 60 and doubles to 60 frames per second when docked. Whew, my heart skipped a beat when I first saw that 30 frames per second, bro. I was like, Nintendo, y'all cannot have this game on the Wii U run at 60 and then 30 on the Switch. And so it runs at 60 frames per second docked. Huh. 
because I'm primarily going to be playing this game docked. But it's odd for them to say 30 frames portable. This is coming from Yuri Gamer. These are early, just by um, early um, trailers and videos they may have seen. All right. It's interesting, interesting. As far as resolution, check this out. Game Reactor is reporting that Super Mario 3D World runs at 1080p docked. 720p in handheld mode perfect and so the way i will be primarily playing the game 1080p 60 frames per second that's the minimum i want that's the bare minimum 1440p um 60 frames per second or maybe a switch pro would be good but if the rest of my switch experience could be 60 frames per second 1080p i would be a happy nintendo gamer all right all right and so um the wii u version of the game was just 720p now according to this article this comes from nintendoeverything.com game reactor says that the resolution comes in at 720p um no 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 what i said was right 720p um handheld 1080p dock so the game looks beautiful art developer talent trumps specs are for hardware and one thing i have to say about nintendo regardless of the power of their consoles nintendo optimizes their games to run and look beautifully on whatever platform they have it on so i can't wait to play this game everything about this game looks beautiful all right next news item apex legends Respawn has come out and officially said Apex Legends um, Switch News is going to be announced very, and I quote, very soon. Responding to a fan on Twitter, this is what the fan on Twitter um, said, and Apex um, developer responds. Um, they said, hi, Chad. I would like to know when Apex will come out on the Switch, or at least how the game goes, or just frames per second, whatever. But please, something. And this is the response from um, game director of Apex Legends, Chad Grenier. And I quote, we'll have some news very soon. All signs are still pointing to um, February 2nd, when Season 8 launches would be epic. I would buy the battle pass and regularly play apex legends if it comes out on the switch with motion aiming even if it doesn't come out on uh, with motion aiming i support it just because it's coming to a switch platform um i played the game and the game is a dope 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 game i just never really heavenly got into it but apex legends um news very soon according to the game's developer and the next and last news item, I thought this was interesting. Reggie fils you know, the dudes I have in all my intros. He was recently interviewed and he talked about the poor performance of the Wii U sales. And he said that the Switch was, and I quote, a make or break product for Nintendo. And when you think about Nintendo's console history, they really didn't have two flops back to back as far as home console front. Um, if they had another flop from the going from the Wii U and then the Switch flop, it would have been rough sailings for Nintendo. Um, they would have probably banked more heavily on the mobile market. But we all know what's happening right now. The Switch is, for the past two years, has been the market leader as far as monthly console sales. So I thought that was an interesting tidbit. All right, dudes, those are all the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. Y'all better put some respect on Donkey Kong. Tropical Freeze, one of the greatest 2D platformers ever made. Came out on the Wii U. It's also on the Switch. Go check it out.
We out. Peace. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi One Plays, and that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.